we've dropped in to see Martin, Culper Precision Engineering in Watford. Now, you're doing a lot of turning work, fixed head and sliding head. Now, the fixed head machines, all Doosons? Yeah, we've got two Doosan machines. Yep. And this one particularly that links 220, let me get this right, LSY. That's correct. Okay. Now, in terms of spindles, uh, tools, driven tools, etc., can you just talk me through those quickly? Yes, yeah, so these machines, we've got twin spindle, single turret. Yeah. Um, okay. We can get 48 tools on the turret, okay. uh, 12 of them are driven. Right, and also I noticed you've got your fanet control. You like the fanet controls? Yeah, fanet's good. Yeah. Nice and easy to use. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Now, I don't want to go on much more about the actual specification machine. What I want to showcase is this fantastic part. Now, I do recognise it because I'm thinking it's similar to the uh, distributor cap I've got in my 1953 Ferrari. Uh, 52, actually. Uh, so, yeah, slightly earlier than the one I've got in my garage then. Yeah. <laughs> so, talk us through the story. Okay, uh, somebody contacted us and they had a customer who um, wanted to rebuild their car and um, he scanned all the original components, um, produced the drawings and came to us and said, can we make them? So with a few alterations, uh, we went ahead and we made them for him. Okay, so you added value in terms of drawings and, and scanning and things like the design of the, the parts? Yeah, I mean, it, it was done so that we could actually machine it. Yeah. yeah. You know? Okay, and... Well, talk us through what you actually manufactured. Okay, well this part is um, one component, of one piece of metal. The, uh, the original had uh, was two pieces of metal, so this part was actually brazed on, uh, but we were able to make it um, one complete part. Yeah, impressive, impressive sort of component there, that is, re really is. But, and then there's a number of other parts that go with it, so... Yeah, so there's a few other parts here, but this all slots together. Uh, there's a cam on the end there, yeah. uh, which was very important. Had to be within half a degree, the drawing, um, otherwise the engine wouldn't fire. Yeah, and you wouldn't want that on your, uh, well, multi-million pound Ferrari, I'm assuming? Uh, about seven million. Ah, uh, okay. Probably can't afford one of those, but we'll see if we can get a pay rise. And then the second part of the uh, distributor cap? Or distributor, should I say? Yeah, so the main body. Um, so this is in two pieces. Um, so this came off the machine complete, um, including all the engraving which was good. Okay. So, uh, yeah, looks a lovely part. So, yeah, impressive stuff there in terms of slotting, spaces, IDs, ODs, etc. So, so yeah, pretty thin walls as well. Uh, yeah, but we managed to pick it off and, uh, and machine the back and uh, all the slots line up and uh, come out perfect. Okay, and the Doosan enabled you to do that because it's twin spindle rather than taking off and because you're going to lose your sort of datums, etc. Yeah, if you did this on a single spindle machine, you'd have problems lining everything up. So, with this machine, that the Dutton Lynx 220 LSY, it's enabled you to do this job specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah did it well. Okay, my great little sort of showcase of what you could do on a machine. Thank you very much.